Look how appetizing it is. Oh, all the chili oil releasing. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Uh, first time Appa managed to buy your angkori. Actually, angkori in uh, ang of course is um, red, but kori. <laughs> what kind of fish is this in English? Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a fish which is long time ago very famous for making fish curry head. Angkori. So, can anyone teach Appa what is the uh, English name for this fish? Alright, it looks like more like a snapper fish kind of thing. So, anyway, I have a fish head here, uh, thoroughly clean and washed. Then uh, I'm putting in some of my personal favorite veggie. This is some uh, cabbage. Then this is what we use to make the curry. Uh, I have some shredded ginger and also garlic. And this is uh, chili uh, red chili powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder, and this is a uh, fish curry powder from Babas. So approximately one tablespoon each. Then I have some Assam Jawa, tamarind paste, yeah. This is some coconut milk and also my cooking up bar chicken stock powder. Not difficult to make fish head curry at home, seriously. So we're going to start with giving it some oil and you want to be more generous with the oil here because when you are, whenever you are cooking curry, you need a lot of oil. So once you have heated up the oil, you can put in the ginger, shallot and also garlic. Today, Appa a bit lazy, I did not cut the coriander roots. Good to have some coriander roots as well, yeah? So let's saute this for about a minute or two before we continue. It looks like there's a lot of oil, right? But later, once you put in the chili, uh, all the powders, yeah, the oil will be fully absorbed. Who else also likes the oil sizzling sound like Appa? <laughs> Okay, this is after about one minute. You can, you can see immediately, very fast, it becoming brownie. Tune down the fire right now. Tune down to the low, lowest heat because we are going to add in the, all the powders. Powders can get burned extremely easy. So always use lowest heat uh, to, uh, before you add in the powders. Yeah? After which, you can slowly turn out to medium. And then slowly saute this for a couple of minutes uh, using medium heat don't use too high heat papa hasn't been making a lot of curry dishes eh? hmm, maybe i should make more it's very easy to make home uh, homemade curry mix it's not difficult at all you know we are just like magician you do your own magic you decide or decide on yourself on how you want to do it now we can give it some base flavor right now. What I mean by base flavor is I'm going to give it some salt to start with, yeah. Slowly saute this for the next couple of minutes before we continue. Right, this is after approximately four or five minutes. We can actually add in some water. Raise the heat to medium high. <clears throat> we can start give it some seasoning now. Some a bit of salt, a bit of fish sauce. My favorite Vietnamese fish sauce. A bit of sugar. Assam paste. Approximately one tablespoon. Some of my cooking up of chicken stock powder where you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Singapore for those who are interested or you can also get it from any Enviet restaurant's uh, physical shop Wow, very fragrant now So let's uh, cook this curry broth for a couple of minutes before we continue to allow uh, all the flavour really release This is after another 3-4 minutes I'm going to put in the veggie my favorite veggie. You can put in any veggie you like. You can choose not to put any veggie also can. 
The Indonesian style of fish head curry don't put any veggie at all. Still will taste really good. I feel like having some uh, cabbage inside. This is my personal favorite for when I'm eating the uh, fish head curry. Okay, next thing. I am going to add in my fish head. You can also steam it separately if you like. Today I will cook it to to together. Wow. You can uh, you can you can notice how thick is my fish head today. Super thick. Let me add in some coconut. Milk. Close the lid, tune down the fire to medium low. Let's slowly cook it for the next about five minutes. It should be fully cooked by then. This is after approximately five minutes. Wow. Wow, I wish you all can smell this. The chili oil has started to come out. Is the fish fully cooked? If you want to double check, you can just um, use a uh, something sharp, poke through the fish, the thickest portion of the fish. If you can poke it through, then it means it has it is already fully cooked. Just now I already tested. Basically, it's already done. Look how appetizing it is! Oh, all the chili oil releasing. All right. So here's our curry fish head. Here's our curry sauce. Let's. Wow. All right, there you go. Here's our very yummy fish head curry angoli today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.